my wife sent me out in the woods. I said to my wife, babe, I think I'm gonna do my Pelican Air 1535 review in my office. She said, Don, it's a Pelican. You need to take it outside somewhere tough. So I brought it out somewhere tough. At least it looked like that. But it's really in my backyard. Check it out. Oh, there it is. There's my house right there. Fooled you guys. <laughs> I went outside. It's cold. I live in Canada. My butt's freezing right now. Obviously, wellrig.com is all about the most durable products on earth, and it wouldn't be complete without taking a look at pelican cases. Some people have uh, lost these things at sea, and they've been found uh, months later. I've heard of them being recovered after tsunamis with all the gear still perfectly intact and dry. One of the most popular pelican cases out there is actually the Pelican Air 1535, and I've got it in the travel version, which also comes with... Uh, TSA locks and a lid organizer, which I think just adds a whole ton more storage space. Okay, so the Pelican Air 1535 is a 27 liter hard case. It's carry-on uh, approved and it weighs about nine pounds, I believe, which is about three or four pounds lighter than any other hard case um, that's a carry-on size. We're talking about perhaps the Pelican 1510 or the Nanook 935. The only thing about the Pelican Air 1535 is, is that for that lightness you are going to pay extra. It costs $240 with just the pick and pluck foam as opposed to the other ones which are a fair bit cheaper. You can expect to pay $340 if you want it kitted out with the Pelican, uh, with the Pelican's exclusive Trek Pack organizing system, and I would recommend that, even though it's extra, because it saves you so much space over and above foam. You can't use pick and pluck foam with this thin of a div division; it's just not strong enough. But you can pack way more into this 1535 by using a Trek Pack system. The other thing that's really a, a super big plus about the Pelican Air 1535 is is that it comes with a whole ton of organization options. I count up to seven configurations possible and the travel version of the Pelican Air 1535 comes with packing cubes. I have another bigger one that I didn't uh, bring uh, but I keep all my junk in here, all the wires and things like that. I also went out and got uh, some extra foam and I'll explain all this later but basically I made a, a Frankenstein. I have foam, I have the track pack dividers and I have packing cubes along with the lid organizer. Okay, let's talk about the lid. Uh, the lid is actually kind of attractive. The one thing I, I really like about the Pelican Air 1535s is that they come in um, some really nice colors other than the typical Pelican black. Uh, you can get some really nice ones. It's the uh, travel version comes with, with uh, the indigo blue and ox blood as well as the black ones and a gray one as well if you want. But I, I kind of like having something that's a little different that I can um, pick out. It's more attractive. The, uh, the case cover as well as the body itself doesn't have any run lines or scarring or rough spots that are common, um, common to hard cases, which is a, a nice sign. So the latches, basically you press and open and with the, the regular latches on the regular 1530, Pelican Air 1535 does not come with the TSA locks, but they have a kind of a reassuring snap and they lock into place nicely. You open the lid, there is a nice, um, very soft O-ring that runs all the way around the Pelican Air, and all Pelican cases have this, and it creates a, a perfect air seal. which is why these things are waterproof. Now, if you notice right here, you'll see an automatic purge valve. That's what uh, Pelican calls it anyway, but it's really an air equalization valve. It allows air to pass through, but water not to. And that's important because if the air pressure or temperature changes from when you close the, the, the case, to when you open it, one of two things could happen. It could either not open at all because it's created a vacuum because of the air pressure change or it could just pop wide open quite violently and that would be for instance if you took off in an airplane you closed it before you took off in an airplane and you tried to open it in the cabin while you were at cruising altitude in which case you would have a 
nice little pop and maybe a few things would hit you in the face. So thank you Pelican for thinking of that. Most card cases that are well sealed have these and it's a good safety mechanism. Now I will mention uh, that there is cable locks uh, or there's a padlock, uh, padlock holes with uh, steel shrouds around them. Uh, you, you can dual lock them with padlocks but I would recommend actually using a cable lock and running the cable lock through and attaching it to something that's immovable. Obviously thieves are going to be more inclined to just grab the case, go and run, and then figure out how to open it later. Okay. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, the, the one thing that gives the Pelican Air 1535 an advantage over other um, of its competitors, be, except for the Pelican 1510, is that it comes with the possibility of getting the Trek Pack divider system, which I think is just amazing. And uh, I'll just run through a quick uh, time lapse of how I put mine together. The nice thing about the Trek Pack system is that when you don't need it, or if you want to reconfigure it with your new gear, it's very simple. You just pull out these little tabs and uh, you can move the dividers around as you want. So how many Trek Pack dividers does the Pelican Air 1535 come with? Plenty. In fact, of course, I didn't use this side, but I've still got a whole other piece here that I've just stored. And I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but everything I have in this pack can be charged directly off of USB. My idea with this case is to head out into the field in West Africa and be completely energy independent. That's why I have a little solar power charger. Now I'm just going to take a look at the body and I'm just going to flip this over really quick and you'll see right away that the body has a, another panel that's screwed onto it. Now the body itself is actually built like a tub and you just have this panel that's screwed onto it so it doesn't compromise the water tightness of the, of the uh, case itself. But you can always service it by just with a Phillips screwdriver so you can access the handle here which opens and the wheels as well. Now the wheels are uh, have stainless steel bearings on them. They're kind of a soft uh, rubber, smooth, and they notice they're inset into the wheel, into the case a little bit, which means uh, a small con is that there is a little bit of a wheel well inside the case. It might be a problem if you had a larger lenses, but I have smaller uh, gear and I was going for light, so it, it works fine for me. Basically, the handle is a hard, thick plank of the Pelican plastic and it's held back by the stay. You just pull it back and open it and it pulls right out and locks back in. To close it, you just pull this back again and slide it back. As opposed to these other, other systems on hard cases that have like telescoping aluminum poles and buttons and springs that all could go wrong, it's a real pain. This thing is pretty much bomb proof heck man you could probably just if this thing ever broke which i doubt you could probably just go open this up shove a stick in there screw it back in and use that as a handle in the woods and that's what i like about the pelican cases is their simple design simple designs are often the most durable designs also the handle itself is very beefy it does come down with a bit of a hard snap but uh it reminds that the handle uh, connection itself reminds me of a gopro mount very very rugged just above it you'll find a uh, business card holder and that can only be accessed through opening the case itself and then popping it out like so and then you can also put it you can also move it here or add another one at the top handle very simple another con i'd mention about this case is that the uh, trolley handle is might be a little short for taller people. Now I'm 5'10", no problem at all, but maybe if you're six foot, you might start struggling and feeling like you're bending over just a little bit with this case. What else do I need to mention? One of the common complaints that I've seen online when I was researching and trying to find out about this pack was they said, the Pelican Air 1535 doesn't have a top handle. Well, that was true, but it's not anymore. As you can see right here, they've added a top handle. It's not that thick, but it is decent. And it's good enough for, you know, um, 
shimmying down the aisle of an airplane and throwing it into the overhead bin. I, I like I waited for six months before I finally pulled the trigger to get this thing because I know I realize it costs money. But in the end, I decided that the benefits of getting it outweighed the cost. Some some people might wonder, okay, well the Pelican Air is a little bit expensive for me. What are some of my other options? The Pelican 1510, which is heavier. Uh, but it has the same basic size and actually is a little bit more durable. The second one I would say is in the Nook 935. I think the hardware is a little weaker on it, but it is a lot cheaper. There's a decent amount of uh, options that you can buy for organizing it. And then the, the last one would be the SKB 2011-7, which is um, also a decent deal as far as price, but is really limited as far as... Um, options for organizing. I did go inside and take some closer uh, pictures of some of the organization so I'll show you that now. So here's my setup. This is with the TRVL option, the travel option, so it also is the only version that comes with the lid organizer. Basically you have about four things going on. You got the packing cube system that Pelican has, you've got the truck pack system, now Pelican does offer foam, but I wasn't willing to pay for a whole foam kit just for what I was gonna do with this. It's white, I know it's gonna yellow, so I'm planning on actually covering that either with fabric or, or rubber and just having the cutouts. So you got the foam, you've got the packing cube, you've got the truck pack divider system, and you have the, the lid organizer, which I think is, this is the main reason why I got the travel version because the lid organizer adds so much more space and versatility to what you're doing and um, helps you see all your gear in one place. I don't think it's, I mean, I think it's incredible. If you had just a regular foam filled 1535, there is no way you could ever put this much gear inside of it. But it's still clean, it's not cluttered, and that's what I wanted. I wanted a simple go case with everything I needed to hit the field going to shoot video and uh, simple photography all in one spot all even with uh, the ability to be without electricity and power for extended periods of time the main thing that makes this case so awesome is it's vers so versatile you can set it up in far more ways than you could with any other carry-on hard case question some people might ask is the Pelican Air 1535 the toughest carry-on hard case out there? No. I would say that honor would go to the Pelican 1510. It is heavier, it's bulkier, and but it's much, I think it's thicker and stiffer, but this thing is still incredibly durable. Okay, really quick, my top reasons why I decided to get the Pelican Air 1535 is very simple. It's the most versatile hard case carry-on you can buy on the market today with seven different options to pack it and then you can mix and match however you want. I like it because my gear is gonna change. The other thing is, is the truck pack system is great. I, I personally went with the travel version because of the, the added benefit of having a lid organizer. I'd recommend that too if you can afford it, although that means that you will have to wind up buying a truck pack divider system separate. The second reason is the lightest pack out there and uh, I wanted something light, simple, and I could take onto the field without a whole lot of hassle. This is it. The other thing is the Pelican case. These things are the most durable cases on the face of the earth. Pelican's been at it for a long time. If you break this thing, Pelican's gonna replace it for you. 